welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. I have a really cool John Renault topper to show you guys. This kind of looks like a wig, but it's actually a topper. This is the top coverage in the wavy style. This also comes in a straight style. This is a synthetic wavy. Uh, the length is 18 inches. It might come in a 12. Usually their toppers come in either a 12 or an 18 inch length, so you have a shorter option. And the color I'm showing you is a latte, which is one of my very favorites. It's the color code 10H16. So it has a medium brown um, base to it, and then it has this blonde running through it. Overall, a little bit more of an ashier color than warm, um, but I found that this is kind of like my go-to color that I love to wear. All right, now what is unique and special about this topper is the base. As you can see, this is a huge base compared to lots of other toppers. This is more for an advanced stage hair loss because it's gonna have a lot of coverage, and then it has the lace front to it. So if you have hair loss in the front, you're gonna be able to wear this and then wear the topper off of your face. Some ladies get a little frustrated with toppers if they don't have a lot of hair in the front because typically you clip toppers in a little bit behind your hairline and then you take your own hair and kind of blend it back over the front of the base to kind of blend everything in. But if you don't have enough hair to do that, it could make, uh, make it so toppers aren't an option for you. But the lace front gives you that option because you can just let the lace lay on your scalp and then you don't have to worry about any blending. So it's a great, great option for ladies who need that. Now, lace fronts, <coughs> excuse me, aren't the best option for me because I do have hair in the front. So typically um, the lace will kind of like ride up or shift to the side and you can see my own hair through the lace. So it doesn't work the best for me. So we're just gonna pretend like you can't see my hair through the lace uh, so you can get an idea of what, uh, what it could do. Okay, so now back to this very large base. As you can see, the clip is not at the front. Uh, typically with toppers, you have a front clip that's pretty close to the front or kind of on the sides here, but this one's much further back. It's uh, sewn onto the mono base. You don't want to sew anything onto lace that would um, compromise the lace and damage it. So you have a clip here that's much further back and then two clips on the sides with a little bit of a poly strip if you need some adhesive. And then you have these two side clips and then this back clip here. Now this is hand tied and it's very stretchy in the back. So lots of great movement and the fit is really great as well. Um, I don't know if I already said this, but this is 11 inches across, 11 and a half inches front to back and about four ounces. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I put this on. Now, if you do have hair in the front, you wanna make sure it's all back. This is not the kind of topper where you pull some of your hair out and then blend it back. So everything needs to go back and then it's easier to kind of clip in these side pieces first, then that top piece. I mean, that top clip is right here on me. And then because it's so stretchy, you can really pull um, that base down and clip it where you need it. And I didn't even pull it um, all the way. So let me just show you for reference. Here is the top of my ear, obviously, and then here is um, the bottom of the base. So, I mean, you maybe have about an inch um, in between the top of the ear and the base, that's how far down it comes. And it is stretchy. I could have pulled it down a little bit further if I needed to. Um, now with this being wavy, it's gonna be a little bit harder to wear than a straight style just because of the tangling issues with it. Um, now John Renault does make a, a product called HD Smooth Detangling Spray. You can spray that in here and then kind of gently pick through the tangles with a wide tooth comb, but uh, wavy synthetic styles do tend to tangle much uh, easier than like a synthetic straight or a human hair piece. And then when you comb it, it makes it even more frizzy. So it's kind of like this vicious cycle of tangling and frizzing with uh, curly or wavy synthetic pieces. Now, if you want to um, kind of adjust these curls or 
um, help them out in any way, you definitely want to wet them or just get them a little damp and then to kind of do what I'm doing where you encourage the curl to go in a certain direction. Let it dry. It may dry into a little bit tighter curl than you want and then you just kind of come through and loosely tussle it and kind of get it um, in the wave pattern that you want. But that's really all you can do with synthetic and wavy. You can't put any heat on it or reshape the curls or anything like that. And typically with wavy toppers, I mean, you can see how straight my hair is compared to this. You probably want to put a little bit of wave into your own hair, um, but this is pretty dense, so I don't think you're going to see a lot of your own hair um, from the back here. I've tried, I think it's a Beltress wavy topper where it didn't have a lot of fibers and you really could see your hair um, through the wave. So in that case, you would want to make sure that the curl pattern in your hair match the curl pattern in this piece, but because it is a little bit denser, you may not run into that problem as much. Um, so let's see. There we go, there's the wave. So as far as styling with this piece, of course you can get a great ear tuck with a topper. Um, you can do a ponytail, but I would suggest um, like a scrunchy, something that's very loose and not a harsh kind of band. You don't wanna compromise the fibers with anything like pulling against it. You can definitely do a side ponytail. Um, that's my favorite way to wear a ponytail and a topper. Um, Lots of great options, like I said, with a topper. Oh, I forgot to show you the lace front here. Okay, let's go back. As you can see, um, that is where the lace is sitting on me. And I may have it pulled back too far back here and it's kind of pulling it off of my head. Um, but you can see that the lace, see my hair and then the lace right here, um, you can see through there. But if I didn't have any hair right there, it would be really great and it would be natural looking and I would be able to wear this off of my head. So just be aware that you will be able to see any of your own hair through that lace front. I'm getting weird sunlight. It keeps going in and out behind the clouds. All right, let me uh, give you a 360. Whoopsie, you can see my hair right here. All right, 360 on this piece. We have the right side, we have the back. Not sure how much of my own hair you can see. We have the left side and then on around. All right, this is a really great option if you want to wear a topper, um, but you're just kind of bored of all the straight styles. You wanna change it up a little bit. So this would be a fun option for you. Um, I think the wave is really natural looking. Again, you can play around with um, some water and the curl pattern and get it to maybe loosen or tighten, whatever your preference is. But I think it's a great option, like I said, if you need uh, to jazz up your, your topper selection a little bit. All right, if you need uh, this topper in your life, head on over to wigs by pattiespearls.com. This is the top coverage wavy in the 18 inch, and this color is Latte 10H16. All right, I will see you guys next time.